The new train timetable continues to divide the Illamora community. While many have benefited with more express trains to Sydney, a number of northern suburbs residents maintain they're worse off. To make their point, over 3,000 have signed a petition calling for an overhaul. They're just pieces of paper, but the pile is growing. Each week, hundreds of people contact my office, whether it's by email, written correspondence or over the phone. Now we've got nearly 3,000 people signing a petition. Local ALP members like Geraldine Jenkins have collected the signatures within the last month in what they say is proof that the new train timetable doesn't benefit Illawarra commuters. For example, those people who are travelling from the south, from stations such as Taraji, Coromel and Wanoona, uh, who now have to change at Thoreau, the time between the change can be anything up to 19 minutes. Today, even more were jumping on board. We pay our taxes. We pay for those train fares and we should be consulted. It's all about serving the people, which is what Parliament's supposed to do. The petition requires 10,000 signatures before it can be tabled and debated in Parliament. But today, New South Wales Train said the additional 125 express services already benefit the region, providing weekly journey time savings to Sydney of 40 minutes from Wollongong and 65 minutes from Kiama. The push comes as Mr Park today received a promotion, entering Shadow Cabinet as the spokesperson for the Illawarra and Shadow Minister for Education. The first thing on his plate, lobbying the Abbott government to commit to the promised six-year Gonski deal. We expect those commitments to be honoured. Teachers, students and parents expect those commitments to be honoured and I'll certainly be joining the fight to get that resources, particularly for here in the Illawarra. Rob Morrison, Wind News.